As local, state, and federal government officials grapple with ways to treat and contain the coronavirus pandemic, some of the best policy responses are coming not from imposing new regulations, but from scrapping old ones. CEI experts are leading in the fight against never needed regulations. The Jones Act is a law that requires any ship transporting merchandise between two American ports to be built in America, owned by Americans, and to have an American crew. Uh, it's created one of the most restrictive transportation uh, markets in the world, and it's the legacy of the era of protectionism 100 years ago. The Jones Act has been a consistent failure from the very beginning. What happens is, as soon as you protect a sector of industry, and you say, for example, that a ship has to be built in America, that implies that all of the things that go into building a ship, or most of them, also have to be built in America. As soon as you require that, the cost of building a ship start to increase. So if you're a shipbuilder, you're happy that you're getting protected from foreign competition, but on the other hand, the cost of every ship you make has now gone up. So as the per unit costs of production increase, it becomes increasingly impossible to compete with foreign competitors. The industries that are not protected in the United States are the ones that are thriving. Uh, for example, the airline manufacturing industry. Airbus is a heavily subsidized and largely government-owned enterprise in Europe. In the United States, Boeing has been successful competing against its foreign competitors, and it's been so successful that it's now the world's dominant airline manufacturer. If the Jones Act were repealed today, there would be a boom in investment in the U.S commercial ocean-going shipbuilding industry, number one. Number two, you would have the extremely competitive, sophisticated shipping practices that are common around the world would come to America and would make all of American commerce much more competitive. One thing that's really interesting about the Jones Act is its supporters, its defenders, like to talk about America first. So they defend the Jones Act because they think that it's a preference for American commerce over foreign commerce, but actually it's the opposite because it makes it more expensive for Americans to ship things to each other by sea than to import them or export them from abroad. So in that sense, from the commerce point of view, it's protectionism, but not protectionism for Americans. It's protectionism for America's foreign competitors. According to one study, the Jones Act functions as a 65% tariff on domestic shipping by sea. So you could say that the Jones Act was never needed in the first place, but now at a time where the COVID-19 pandemic uh, is causing uh, such enormous economic losses around the world and in the United States, uh, and the Trump administration has focused on measures that will relaunch the economy, um, anything that we can do to make American industry, to make American commerce more competitive, uh, is exactly what the doctor ordered right now.